Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to read an RS-232 device using Raspberry Pi and Windows 10 IoT Core. So if you're new to this channel, I'm Kudzai and I regularly publish Internet of Things and Industry 4.0 tutorials on this channel. So make sure to subscribe to get them as they come out. Okay, so this is the connection that I have here. I've got my load cell module connected to this uh, weighing indicator here and then I've got the Raspberry Pi connected to the serial port of this weighing indicator uh, through this MAX3232 level converter so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to build a Windows 10 IoT Core app that will be reading the weight data from this weighing indicator using RS-232 protocol okay so the first thing that we need to do is to create a new project And then we select a blank app, Universal Windows. And then we'll call our project read RS232. Click create. Okay. And then when our UWP app is finished creating, we go ahead and add our Windows IoT extension. And then you go to extensions, select Windows IoT extensions for the UWP, click OK. OK, so we've added our IoT extensions. Now, because Windows 10 IoT Core is not a full operating system, it doesn't like straight out of the box give us access to the uh, serial port. So what we need to do we need to add the capabilities for accessing the serial port. So to do that, we go to our app manifest. Just right click, view code. And then you scroll down here. And then we add this device capability for serial port communication. Okay, and then now we go to our main C -sharp file. And then here we create our serial device and we call it serial port. And then we create our objects for reading and writing to the serial port. And then we create our cancellation token. And then we come down here on the initialization of our app, we initialize our serial port. And then I'll add the method for initializing the UART. And then here put the method for the actual UART configuration. So basically here I'm getting all the available serial ports and then assigning the first one to my serial port device that I initialized earlier. And then I set my serial settings and then I listen on the port. So I'll go ahead and add the method for listening. Okay, so this is my method for listening on the serial port. So basically I'm creating a super loop here and then inside that super loop, I'm calling a method to do the actual reading of the port. So I'll go ahead and add that. So here is where the actual reading takes place. So here I'll put some initialization code for my read buffer length cancellation and also pointing my reader object to the serial port input stream. And then we follow with our code for launching the read task and then we wait and then if we've got bytes to read from our buffer I'll create a new byte array and read the bytes into that array 
and then we need to declare that array and then based on the data sheet of my indicator i need to check to see if this data is coming in the correct format and then if it is i'll call my method to sort through this data to extract the weight and then i'll put my method here and then we declare the variable for holding our display weight and then i need to add the method for closing the serial port and then now we want to be able to display this weight so i'll go to my main page to demo and then here i'll add a text block on the interface to display the weight And then I'll call this the weight text block. And then we go back to our C sharp file. And then we're going to add the code for displaying the weight on our text block. And then we deploy our solution. And then when I put my weights on, you can see that uh, we're successfully reading the weight from the weighing indicator, even though my calibration is off. So if you found this video useful, please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more IoT videos like this as they come out.